Hi right, guys, it is a cold, nasty, depressing night here in uh, what's left of paradise of Garfield, Texas, here in the end times on this gloomy February, Tuesday night, February 6, 2018. And so, as I just mentioned in a little video a minute ago, to fill my uh, empty life here in the end times. What I've been doing tonight is I started a new GoFundMe challenge and you can find out about that. The Hambone Needs Gas for His Truck challenge uh, for 2018 and I'll have the link to that how you can donate to that. But I just appreciated this little story. So anyway, I don't know how many of you are familiar with GoFundMe and if you've ever tried to do this. So I go on there. This started about three hours ago. I went on there, uh, what should have been about a fucking 15 or 20 minute process. Let's call it 30 minutes at the outside. I go on there. I start my new challenge, I fill all of that shit out, and then I have to do just some little, just some little, God, I don't even know what it was that I needed to do, but for whatever it was to, to sign up for my new challenge, I, they had to send me one of these fucking little codes. Uh, they had to text me a code. Some fucking little six number code for me to, why they couldn't just email me the fucking thing, I do not know. So uh, I, I'm, I'm on there with, I've been on, let's see, two GoFundMe support chat people through five different goddamn, uh, you know, where they, you can't just call a fucking human being. You're sitting there talking to some goddamn robot uh, on here trying to get a fucking little code so, so I can set up my channel. Now, uh, now most people have a goddamn smartphone w with the texting where they can just pick up a goddamn text. I've never texted in my fucking life. I've never sent a text, I've never received a text, I, I can't text uh, or, or receive uh, on my goddamn little track phone. So all I have is what I've had for nine years is this goddamn uh, worthless piece of crap called Skype. Good God, it's amazing I haven't done more uh, Skype rant. So they have to so the folks at GoFundMe have to send me a fucking little six-digit number text on my goddamn Skype. And you can imagine where this goes to. Trying to get a fucking six-digit code. They tried, I don't know, six different fucking times. They tried to text me the six digit number, uh, they tried to call me and read me out the fucking six digit number again. I, I just kept telling the fucking support people, text the motherfucking six digit goddamn little code of yours, text it to your own fucking cell phone and read it out to me for Christ's sake. So this shit goes on for two hours so finally I get on, maybe it was the third support person, some little cutie named Leah, they, they send the, the little uh, picture of your support person. So they send me some little hottie named Leah. So Leah says, okay, hey, I, I've got it figured out. What we're gonna do is get you off Skype. Just get rid of that fucking Skype. And uh, what she did, guys, is she turned me on to this new, this new uh, competitor. I don't know if it's new or what, but anyway, she said, that, that, try this outfit out. It's called Text 
now. Text now, but you can also make phone calls. So you, it's, uh, it's one of these internet, it's like Skype. It's one of these uh, internet phone services, completely free. You know, if you just want a basic phone number, even this goddamn Luddite uh, took me about five minutes. You just, you just go on there and uh, download this uh, text now and they give you a phone number and you can just use your computer keyboard to send and, and, and you receive text and, and calls. I mean, you, it's just like Skype. Uh, you, you, can, you can make and receive phone calls. Uh, you can text. All of this shit completely free just for the basic service with no voicemail and all of that shit. And so I'm already liking these guys. So uh, anyway, so I signed up for text now. And within minutes, I had my little six-digit code so I can make my new GoFundMe. I'm going to put the link. So it's active. It's up and running. I'm waiting for my first donations for some kind tribes member. So anyway, I actually, for the first time in my entire life, at age 58-year-old Doomsday Luddite has sent... A text. I actually sent a text to a friend's smartphone and it actually came through. So I have now uh, received and sent a text. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, I'd almost be willing to give out my phone number, but I'm not going to go quite that far. Uh, but anyway, maybe I'll just dump this fucking Skype. So that's some good news. So anyway, of course, uh, they give you this this uh, this thing for your laptop for free. This thing is totally free. But what they're trying to do is sell you a goddamn smartphone uh, and, and of course a monthly plan. And like uh, you know, and, and this is how. This is exactly how we get sucked down into the matrix. Anybody who knows anything about my history with smartphones, uh, I posted a video from St. Croix where my sister sent me a smartphone and I pounded it into smithereens with a goddamn rock. Never want one of these fucking smartphones. Uh, fuck smartphones and the goddamn horse they rode in with. Uh, but, but sometimes you need a fucking phone. So what I did, good Lord, what is it? Two or three years ago, the, the way that I got around the smartphone so I can keep talking about the clueless fucking morons and their smartphones, I got one of these goddamn things called an AT&T track phone. The track phones, they are the, the, these, the, these goddamn little things. They're, they're not a smartphone. They're a dumb phone. They're a stupid phone. Pretty much all you can do, at least on the, I got the very bottom end one. I think I paid five bucks for this piece of shit. All I can do on the goddamn thing is make and receive phone calls. That's all I can do on it. it, it it's a fucking telephone and nothing else. So I've had this thing for a couple of years and I never used the goddamn thing. Well, I, I won't say never, I mean, I do use it occasionally. And, and what it is, is, is one of these cards, these track phones where you buy these, these, these pre-loaded cards and they're the single most expensive uh, option out there in the phone market. And I'm paying, it comes out a $20 card I can usually, using promo codes and shit, I think for $20 that I get about two and a half hours of phone calling. Two and a half hours uh, for 20 fucking dollars. And then I look at all of these other phone cards and, I've, and I see that 
that this goddamn track phone is hands down the single most expensive one of them all. So, of course, I'm over here on this goddamn, what is, what is this thing called? Text Now. Text Now, is that it? Yes, Text Now. And, of course, what they're really trying to do is sell me a smartphone. And the, and the minutes. So, one thing I like about the, the reason, one of the things that attracted me to, uh, to the track phone is there's no contract. There is zero contract. With smartphone, the minutes roll over. Uh, it's every 90 days you need to buy a new card. But if you haven't used your two and a half hours of talk time in 90 days, at least the minutes roll over. Uh, like anyone's going to go 90 days without talking two and a half hours. So uh, if you really never, ever talk on the phone, even though the per minute charge is a hell of a lot more expensive, it, you know, as soon as you hit two and a half hours uh, in a month, and if you talk one fucking second, that's charged as a minute. You see what I'm saying? If you if you talk for a minute and one second, you get charged for two minutes. Everything you do on the phone, as soon as you turn that motherfucking thing on, they start running up the minutes. Two and a half hours disappears in about 20 fucking minutes is what it seems like to me. So anyway, of course I get on here and what do they do? They have all of these new, since I'm a new member, just signing up, all of these promos. You get the $20 off uh, your first phone. You get that promo for being a new person. So they have this, what they're calling an $85 phone. Uh, they already have it marked down $50 or 59% off to $35. It's a refurbished $85 phone. And then you apply this. So then I can take it $20 off. So for $15 fucking dollars, I have a smartphone. A smartphone. And then uh, what they offer, they offer all of these. Uh, there's no contract, but, it, but it's these plans. And uh, so what they are uh, telling me is for $20 a month, if I buy this $15 phone, I get unlimited minutes and texting. So uh, I, I can talk 24 fucking hours a day for 30 days uh, for the same price that I would pay on track phone uh, to talk for two and a half hours. And they even throw in one and a half gigabytes of data, uh, you know, on your little smartphone if I have to have an emergency uh, YouTube fix so I can do a little bit of emailing even. I mean, a gig and a half isn't very much. So for 20 bucks, so what the fuck, guys? What do you think I'm going to do? Uh, I'm not going to do it tonight. I, I'm going to sleep on it, but uh, you, you, you know, you're, you're damned if you do and, you, and you're damned if you don't. So my goddamn little, my little track phone card uh, has run out on me again. I feel like I just paid uh, 20 or $30 for this piece of shit. Uh, and, and, and here I am. With, with with a dead fucking phone. So either, so my choice tomorrow is I can go and spend uh, and shell out another twenty fucking dollars. So I have a two and a half hour phone card, or I can spend thirty five dollars and, and get a smartphone uh, with unlimited um, minutes. Uh, talking and texting, for God's sake. Now that I'm, now that I'm a, a texter, and uh, so I don't know. It, but but it, but this is exactly uh, how they lure you in. This this is how we're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into the into the damn matrix.
Uh, you know, we're fucked if we do and we're fucked if we don't. So now I'm probably going to be getting a fucking smartphone. Uh, I can't wait for my sister to hear this, that I finally buckled and uh, Hambone's getting a goddamn smartphone. You know, I just about had a similar rant about fucking Walmart. Uh, it is, it's just another, it's just another way uh, that you get sucked into this. Saturday morning, uh, my assignment to myself uh, between uh, Craigslist, pawn shops, uh, thrift stores, I started out at 11 o'clock Saturday morning. I gave myself seven hours. I said, by dark tonight, all I want is I want a lawnmower, a microwave, and a toaster oven. I proceeded to spend seven fucking hours driving all over goddamn Austin, Texas. How many fucking pawn shops did I go to? How many fucking thrift stores? that I go to making all of these goddamn calls on my track phone. All of these goddamn uh, uh, Craigslist calls and every one of those fucking people on Craigslist, they won't give you a fucking phone number. All of these goddamn blind boxes and all of this goddamn crap. And, and if they do give you a fucking phone number, uh, all they want you to text them, and the only way they'll fuck that people will talk to you anymore is the goddamn text. People are so fucking scared. So that's where my goddamn uh, that that's where my goddamn twenty dollar card went. Was dealing with all of this shit on Saturday. I spent seven fucking hours. I used up my phone card. I used up probably, good God, at least a fucking half a tank of gas driving all over fucking Austin, Texas. Uh, you, you know, going to all of these goddamn pawn shops and thrift stores and wild Craigslist goose chases. And you know what I have to show for it? I, I have a fucking toaster oven. I have a $6 thrift store toaster oven and it's now goddamn Tuesday night. It has been Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I still don't have a fucking microwave oven. I still don't have a fucking lawnmower. Four goddamn days I've put into this. I'm still making all these fucking calls, have all of these ads out on Craigslist, trying to fuck buy a fucking microwave oven and a goddamn lawnmower. All this uh, because I don't want to go to fucking Walmart. Uh, I, I could, I, I could, within within 30 minutes of me right now, there's at least three Walmarts that I know of. I, I could have left this fucking house at, at 11 o'clock on Saturday morning, driven to a goddamn Walmart without ever making a fucking telephone call on my, uh, on my goddamn uh, track phone. Uh, not, not a goddamn phone call, not driving all over the fucking city of Austin. I could have driven to fucking Walmart I could have gotten out of my gas-sucking truck. I could have walked into that goddamn Walmart 30 minutes later. I could have walked out with a brand new fucking toaster oven, a brand new uh, microwave oven, and a brand new lawnmower. In 30 fucking minutes, I could have gone in there, pulled out my goddamn credit card, swiped it or chipped it or whatever the fuck you do nowadays and and, uh, and, and walked out of there and, and, and had a beautiful Saturday afternoon to enjoy instead of fucking it up with all of this shit. Uh, who's the fucking clueless moron? Is it the people who shop at Walmart or the people who don't shop at Walmart? I, I, you know, I, I feel like a goddamn fucking fool. This is why people shop at Walmart, because they don't want to do this. 
I'm sick and tired of living like this. You know, with these fucking thrift stores and, uh, and pawn shops and Craigslist to buy some piece of fucking crap that, that has no warranty, no nothing. While, while I'm driving past uh, these goddamn Walmarts with, with my fucking holier-than-thou little eco-Nazi attitude that I don't shop at Walmart. You know that I don't shop at Walmart because I'm a clueless fucking moron. That's why I don't shop at Walmart. If I fucking shopped at Walmart, I would have a goddamn brand new lawnmower, a goddamn brand new microwave oven, a goddamn brand new toaster oven. You know, and living like a fucking normal human being, for God's sake. You know? Goddamn bullshit. And sitting around, you know, on this goddamn Skype that I've been putting up with, with, with this bullshit from Skype. Uh, which I think uh, doesn't, doesn't Uncle Billy, I'm pretty sure Bill Gates owns Skype. It's the most worthless piece of shit out there. Because uh, I, I'm playing some fucking uh, little little uh, holier than thou high and mighty game that that uh, I, I'm never gonna own a fucking smartphone. So I'm jacking off with this motherfucking Skype and this goddamn little AT and T track phone. Uh, you know, fuck this. This goddamn doomosphere. It's a fucking joke is what it is. It's not getting us, you know, it's making us the clueless goddamn morons. What the hell do I think? Yeah, you don't shop at fucking Walmart, but you shop at Target. I guess I can go on to Target. I actually, you know, Target, I think I can get a brand new microwave oven for like $50 at Target. Uh, but they don't sell lawnmowers. So, uh, so, so, Hamma, you, you don't shop at, at Walmart, but you shop at Target, and you shop at Costco. Uh, you, you don't have a fucking smartphone because they're such a goddamn high and mighty little evolved uh, eco-Nazi, but you have your fucking little AT&T track phone and your fucking uh, Bill Gates own Skype. That ain't worth the fucking garbage can it and rode in on. You know, going through all of this fucking bullshit because you don't wanna, you don't wanna get a goddamn smartphone like everyone else on the fucking planet, and you don't wanna go to a fucking Walmart. Anyway, that's been my night. Uh. And with that, I guess I'm done. But if anybody could find it anywhere in their hearts and wallets to uh, throw Sancho, Ponza, and I a few bones on our new GoFundMe account, we would greatly appreciate it because I need the gas money to keep driving around to every fucking pawn shop and thrift store and uh, Craigslist wild goose chase in the state of fucking Texas because I'm too goddamn high and mighty to go to a goddamn Walmart, uh, which would use about 1 20th of the fucking gas uh, that I've burned out my ass being a high and mighty uh, eco Nazi. And we do appreciate it from the bottom of my little uh, little uh, matrix trapped clueless moron consumer. I will be back tomorrow with my climate change meltdown roundup rant on this cold winter day in paradise. Bye guys.